Number 10th hack for health is meditation. Now, this is something interesting. I have been trying to meditate, I don't know, since I was a kid. Always something happened. Like I got bored. I wasn't interested in it anymore. It was hard. It was uh, kind of getting like annoying or irritating. I couldn't wake up or I would fall asleep if I meditated. A lot of stupid shit happened. Now for the first time in my life, I'm able to meditate somewhere around 20 minutes to an hour. But the average is 30 minutes a day. Okay, so when I wake up at 3.30, from 3.30 to 4, I just stay in my bed. I close my eyes and I meditate. I don't have a mantra. I don't focus on my breath. I don't focus on my third eye. None of that shit. It's too complicated for me, man. If the universe or God or whatever wants to bless me, I'm just going to try. All right. I'm just going to make an effort. So I wake up in the morning. I close my eyes and I just fucking sit there. That's it. Like I just sit there. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. I have no agenda or like trying to do this or that. Fuck all that, okay? And what I found is every morning there is a different sort of objective that just emerges, a a different type of plan that emerges somehow. Like a couple of nights ago, I was having a, a hard time with some childhood trauma and there were some like deep desires and cravings and some really uh, dark stuff that I had been imagining, but was like suppressing for, I don't know, probably my whole life. (laughs) And so a couple of nights ago, I closed my eyes and I lived all of those desires in full. Like I imagined them to the bitter end. And this is something I learned from Jordan Peterson, that if you have something that you crave, some disturbance, some distraction, some, something that is bothering you, carry it out to the bitter end. Just keep, okay, so you so okay, so okay, you want to do this negative thing or this dark thing. Okay, imagine you did it, right? Ima- close your eyes, imagining yourself doing it. What happens next? What happens next? What happens next? I imagined all that. And through that imagination, I was like, oh, I probably don't want this to happen. So I probably don't want to take this action. So I wasn't suppressing. It was like a free association with the Freud type paradigm where you just go into your thoughts and you just freely think of stuff. You just freely go. You go, whatever it is, it could be some craving, some sexual desire, some, some, some you know, you want to murder someone or you want to uh, uh, have some resentment or you want to you wanna scream at someone, you want to punch someone, whatever that is. Carry it out to the bitter end. What's going to happen if you do that? What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? But you're just imagining. You're not acting it out in the real world. You're just imagining. And that, man, that relieved burden from me. Like the burden from my shoulders were gone, man. They were so good. 